Hello, Dr. Wharton Johnson. My name is Kurt Olson, and uh, I hope you got five minutes to listen to me here. Um, I uh, contacted Lily, Dr. Riga. She was my program director when I was at the University of Edinburgh in 2015. Um, I did a taught MSc in sociology uh, there, and I was the probably one of the seminal experiences of my life. Uh, it just was amazing. Um, so. Uh, it was my first thought to contact um, Lily and uh, just give her an update, tell her what's going on. She suggested contacting you. I've done a little reading about what you're up to, uh, and um, I agree with her. I, I think there's some potential uh, for a good fit. Um, let me explain what I'm talking about here. So um, I teach in, in California um, near the Bay Area, Central California Bay Area. Um, I'm the Department Chair for Sociology. Um, at a community college, and I can take a year, uh, every seven years I can take a sabbatical. When I got my MSc there, I took a sabbatical, um, and I am thinking about taking another one, and let me tell you why and to see if I'm a good fit for the program, and just, it, it, just to get, get your take on things. Um, so I started, a, so okay, so when I came home from Edinburgh, um, I started teaching sociology classes at community college, and um, I was have a bunch of friends that work for EA Sports, um, Ziggy and Sanjay, I went to UC Davis with them, both. And I was kind of bitching about how I wish my students gave as much time to studying and reading my, and listening to my lectures, and taking notes, and being active in class as they do with video games. And I was just telling Ziggy and Sanjay that because they were on the ground floor with Madnet and they're retired and living in La Jolla now. Uh, so um, anyway, so they said, hey, you know, Kurt, we could make you a video game uh, and um, we could just do that and for your class. And I thought, well, you know, what the heck, why not? So I did a little quasi experiment and I made a, a, a short uh, video game for one of my units. I think socialization or deviance. I can't remember which unit it was in my class. And uh, I had half of them play the little quest game, and then and it looks like Zelda. It's really kind of cute. And then half of them uh, did, and just did the standard. And lo and behold, literally and re uh, reliably, I did three or four more semesters of testing on that. The ones that played the game, uh, and a lot of them will play it two and three times because they were finding secret things and doing all that kind of fun stuff. They had about 10% to 12% higher test scores than the ones that didn't. Um, and you know, I did it, I re again, I repeated it a few times just to see it, and it just, it came out about the same amount each time. And I thought, huh, you know, I know about gamification. Then I did a little reading on gameful learning. Then I created a full eight quest, nine quests now, a video game called Sociopia, and you cured Thrain the xenophobic dragon at the end of it. Um, and, uh, and Dr. Riga actually has a little Chibli in there. Uh, I put a little sprite of her in there. I don't think I've ever showed it to her, but she it does pop up in the, in the game. So does my cat. Some fun. I just, it's fun. It's super fun. And, um, it really has just been wonderful. So I started a company called Gamify in 2017. Since then, I've made games for other professors, um, and colleagues that I work with. Um, one at UC Davis for an old, uh, professor I had there. Um, uh, anyways. I got in contact, or Clemson got in contact, Clemson University got in contact with me. We created a game called Yazgu. Yazgu is an anti-bullying video game. It's uh, based on the principles of the Olveus bullying prevention method. Dan Olveus was a Norwegian who um, went to Clemson to do research in bullying prevention and how to, how to attack it from a systemic institutional standpoint and not just like train students or train teachers, but train everybody in the, in the, in the school district. And it's fantastic. And he's been, it's kind of, it has been the gold standard in bullying prevention programs. So we made, they said, you know, we need a video game. So they contacted Gamify. Um, I met with them, the psych department, and we created a, a video game called Yazgu. And it's been exceptionally successful in the sense that it, it's, these kids love it. I get emails all the time asking about lore, you know, the characters in there and all that kind of, and I love making games. So I, it, this is something that's been just fantastic. So. Things have been pretty cool. Then Clemson decided, hey, let's, let's, um, and I, out of my request, I said, you know, I wish I could integrate AI, have NPC, uh, AI powered NPC players in the game, uh, NPC characters in the game, and have the kids interact with them. 
So we applied for a grant. Uh, uh, it was a um, Depart U.S. Department of Education grant, innovation grant, and we won it. it and I've been a sub-award of it. It's a considerable amount of money uh, for Gamify. So now I have money to develop this, and I'm working with Cold Fusion and InWorld, which are two gaming companies, in a an AI and gaming company, respectively, in Sunnyvale, here in California, and um, we're 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 on it. We're gonna we're gonna make it so the kids can have the students can have free and the, the age, by the way, that plays this this one is uh, gr grades two through seven. So these students can play and interact with AI and learn how to deal and role play and learn how to deal with emotionally charged situations re regarding bullying and the and and the. Uh, the roles, the different roles, social roles that are usually taken on by different, the bystander, the passive bystander, the active bystander, the bully, the bully. They learn about all these things, but then more importantly, they role play with the AI character. So then I got to thinking, then I got to thinking, hey, this would be amazing to take another sabbatical. And I am fascinated with the idea of play as a tool for positive secondary socialization. That is something that I'm just massively interested in and i'm older you know, obviously so this wouldn't be something that would be like oh, i want to get my doctor to get my doctorate i'm cool with that that's fine i'm kind of on the back end of my career this is more i want to get my hands on being able to do some research on play play versus task in, um, but also in this particular case playing for positive secondary socialization uh, social emotional learning with ai in other words um, can ai help students um, and children uh, re-socialize or have some very meaningful and deeply, you know, emotionally charged, emotionally um, uh, important or or special moments um, learning. Um, because a lot of the times the children did don't want to role play live when they get into their groups and when Obeyes goes to the school. But they do seem to interact with and care about the characters because they can create their own character in the game. All this kind of stuff. I'm sorry I'm going on and on and on. But... Um, so I just want to see, I, I see that you're working with um, education and technology um, and, and e-learning, digital culture. I love that you guys have digital sociology there, you know, media, uh, you're doing stuff with digital ethnography, um, all that kind of stuff. So um, love to talk to you, love to Zoom with you. I know the time difference. I'm more than happy to wake up early in the morning if it takes that. Uh, but. I do think it would be a good fit. I've looked at UCL a little bit. Um, just my heart, just I, I would love to come back to Edinburgh and um, you know London to me. I, I I just love the people up there in Edinburgh. I just have such a great memory of it. I tell I email Lily like once every two years and tell her how wonderful it was for me. So, anyways, let me know if you'd like to Zoom. If it's not, it's okay. Just send me a quick email. Like, eh, I don't think we're a good fit. Whatever. That's fine. I'd rather have that now than later. Um, but yeah, if you want to Zoom and talk, let me know. I'm going to CC Lily on this because um, I told her I would. So, um, all right. Hope everything's great there and it's not raining too much. Okay. <laughs>